So a few years ago, I planted some asparagus that I had gotten off of Amazon from Handpicked Nursery. And I had also bought some other varieties of asparagus by some other companies. And the ones from Handpicked Nursery were obviously quality-wise when I opened the package considerably higher than the other ones, one which was shipped from China. That wasn't sold by Handpicked Nursery. Well, the only ones that come up were the ones by Handpicked Nursery, and I made a YouTube video post thanking them. And uh, I said that at some point in time, I'm going to buy some more. And to kind of fill in the spaces where the ones that didn't come up were planted. And anyways, long story short, you know, I got cancer and I battled that for the last two years. But I finally ordered some more from Handpicked Nursery. So these actually come in yesterday and I never even touched the box. I basically just stuck the box in the refrigerator. So I have a, these are Mary Washington and these are Jersey Supreme. So it's kind of funny. The Supreme package is smaller than the Supreme package is this one and it's smaller than the Mary Washington, but you know, you can't go by that. Gonna go ahead and take these out of the package. These were so fresh the last time. I think I only soaked them for an hour. It's gonna rain this evening. Thunderstorms are in the forecast, and I looked, and it's gonna be starting in about four or five hours. I just want to get them some moisture before I take them outside. Is basically what it boils down to. And I would have to look to see the variety that I planted last time. I don't even honestly remember. It's it's been it's been a couple of years. So I also noticed they had a YouTube link. And see, the first time that I ordered these, they didn't even have a YouTube channel yet. Um, the card says that it's veteran owned, and you know I obviously am a supporter of all veterans. I'll also link to the uh, original video that I did. These are going in a raised bed. It's actually a four foot by eight foot um, tartar water trough for livestock. All right, so now hopefully you can see how I do this, how they're staggered. They might have shifted a little bit while I was planting them. I guess I should go ahead and be honest during the two years I was battling cancer, I never took care of this bed at all. Didn't weed it, didn't water it, didn't fertilize it. All the plants from Handpicked Nursery, they come up. Uh, the first year I had cancer, they all come up. Now I've also got this weird thing that sometimes my bed sprouts in the spring. Sometimes it sprouts in the fall. It's the craziest thing ever. I've never seen asparagus do that. But that's been pretty consistently from day one. It's getting ready to rain. So that'll help water them in. And uh, hopefully this goes pretty quick. No change. I staggered the, the uh, extras. There actually ended up being four. There was one of the Mary Washington and three of the Jersey Supreme. So anyways, now the fun part comes where I'm just going to start building up the level of this soil. Um, I'm going to basically cover up these asparagus until they are two inches above them, tamped down, and then as they grow, I'll add more soil and build it up even farther. All right, you guys, it started raining. I got this sort of, kind of done, as done as it's going to get today. The uh, rain has moved in, thunderstorm, I think I just got a tor tornado. Uh, warning notification so all I want to do now is tamp this down which there are still high spots that I'm gonna have to get worked out but right now I just want to get it 
prepared for this storm. I know I got a lot of soil that needs done over here where these existing plants are at. Because I'm having to break that up and then move it into place very carefully so I don't break the existing asparagus. 14 bags of soil. Barely put a dent in this bed. So, uh, definitely going to need some more soil. But I'll top dress it with some straw. That'll retain the moisture so I don't have to, so that I don't have to take and water it often. And before I top dress it with the straw, I'll put some fertilizer on it. Asparagus seem to love. Anyways, that's all. I don't know if you can see it raining or not. It's starting to rain pretty good, so I'm gonna head in because my camera's getting wet and everything. Okay, the uh, rain has stopped at least for a few minutes. I hear thunder starting to come up again. What I've got here, this is tomato tone, and this is about one pound. And I'm basically going to go and side dress lightly. I don't want to be too much. Where I just planted these, and I kind of know about where they're at, even though I didn't like mark the rows. I know about where it was at. And if it's a little off, that's fine. Now I'm just using a little bit because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and cover this up with straw. Again, I don't want to use too much, but I do want to use some, and I've used tomato tone on other asparagus in the past, and it's okay. Now, when I, when I side dress that, just leaving it on the soil like that doesn't do worth 10 cents. You actually have to take and rub it into the soil. Doesn't have to be. Deep, it just needs to be in contact with the soil. So the easiest way to do it is just do it like this. It takes soil to release the nutrients. That is in fertilizer. And I'm trying to do this before it starts raining again. Now I've still got some more soil I gotta put in here too, to be honest with you. So before I put the straw down, I'll also go ahead and put more soil in here in the low spots. There's several of them I feel. But I'm basically just trying to get all this stuff done before the next rain comes in because the next rain will also help wash these nutrients down into the soil. Something like that. I'll bring you along for the next step. All right, so you're probably not going to be able to see this too well but today is may 21st and every day i come out here and there's like new asparagus coming up it's literally every day it's like come out and find the new asparagus <laughs> which i do all the time let's see if i can get a shot from this direction you can see you can definitely see they are coming up everywhere and there's new ones that come up every day now the thing about asparagus is it grows very very fast as far as like I saw another new one today where was it at hold on just a second let me find it there it is right there that new one right there 
by later on this afternoon that might be four four or five inches tall so that's kind of how asparagus does it just jumps up really quick and then you know in in the same day it can grow four or five inches and i saw another new one since yesterday <laughs> and that is right this is one of the uh where was it at the other thing is the the way that you look at these determines like how hard or easy they are to see oh there it is right there so that's also another new one and that's kind of what you run into you can see there there's like three coming up right there there's a group coming up there so just when they grow they grow really fast i think it was about seven days after i planted them when the first one sprouted up we had a whole bunch of rain for like two days and now it's kind of dried out some and you can see i did put straw down it's probably about a three inch two or three inch thing of straw and i tried not to make it too compacted so they could come up easy through that but the straw keeps the soil moist because this bed gets extremely hot with the sun beating down on it the sun literally beats down on this side right here from morning until probably about six o'clock in the evening this bed gets super super hot so anyways i just wanted to give you an update and uh i still stand behind ordering from hand-picked nursery i've had great luck out of all the asparagus I bought from them, they do sell some other things. And I, I've never bought anything else other than asparagus off of them because, like I said previously, in the other asparagus that I planted, theirs was the only one that come up. So here is an update on all of the asparagus that I planted. You can see that it did very well. If you take in consideration that that bed is two feet tall and these plants are, well, these here are nearly as tall as I am. So subtract, that would make them about uh, three and a half feet tall. These down here are probably only really about a foot and a half tall. That one's probably two foot. That one over there is probably three and a half feet tall. No, you can't hardly see these because of the green background. But if I go this way, maybe not. This one. This one right here. My arm it has to raise up in order to reach the top of it. So, and subtract two foot because of the bed. So that means that it's probably, I'm really only about five foot six. So, And I'm on a hillside. Don't help. But anyways... The uh, new asparagus done great. It's all in fern right now. I'll keep it just like this. Not going to touch it. Not going to do anything to it. And in the fall when it browns on its own, then I will cut it back and add more soil to this and maybe more straw also. But yep, this uh, did really well. Anyways, that's all for the update. And this is the update on the asparagus that i planted as you can see a lot of it come up is now all ferned out so you don't want to do anything to this until it finally dies you want it to stay ferned out like this being ferned out helps the roots grow uh, you don't want to cut it too early a lot of people i know that's one of the things people do they cut it too early some of it, believe it or not, is still coming up and growing. It still sends up new shoots every now and then. There's a few down there that haven't ferned out yet. But that's kind of what you do. So you got to do it the first couple years. And uh, everything will be good. You can tell I got some that are back there that are way bigger than others. That was some of the ones that was already. You can see they're really tall. That was some that was already planted here. 
Um, and then these ones that are like in the middle and toward this edge over here are the new ones.